If you're only using the format option to add in the calendar picker to your spreadsheet, well, I'm sorry, but you're doing it wrong. Why are you doing it wrong? Well, take a look at this blank cell. You click on it, there's no picker. And when there's no picker, that means that people will be manually entering the dates. With manual typing comes great risk of typos. Not to mention, it also removes your format. So when someone clears out their typo and tries to put in the date, it's gonna start letting people do this to your spreadsheet. To avoid that mess, there's something you can do called data validations. Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm a guy called Joe, and today we're gonna to be talking about how you can prevent inconsistent date formats. Now, in my opinion, this really shouldn't be a thing because everybody should just enter in the date in the right format, the format that all the other rows are in the same format, so just follow that. Why you gotta add it differently? Why you gotta be special? It's not that hard. But of course, I get it, I get it. Sometimes you're copying and pasting in values and then the formats get all wonky. Or maybe you're putting a lot of faith in your coworkers. And it becomes a mess. Sure, you can clean it all up with the format option, highlight the entire column, and then just set the format. Which, by the way, there are two places that you can set the format. First one is in the 123 option next to the font selector. And then the other one is underneath of the format option in your menu bar. There's a bunch of options there, but date's going to be under numbers. And then there's also a custom date and time format if you want to get a little fancy. But doing that only activates the calendar picker for filled in cells. The blank cells, unfortunately, are on their own, which, you know, might actually be fine if you're typing in the correct date and then uh, submitting that because it'll just reformat it on the fly for you. However, if you put in a typo or something like that, Google Sheets actually tries to act too smart for its own good and auto updates the cell's format for you and then you're back to square one. So how can you prevent all that? Well, the option is data validation. And you can find that underneath the data option in your menu bar. Once you open it up, a little motor will appear and it's going to ask you for a cell range. So in there, just put in the entire column range where you have dates. And then for the criteria, set it to date, and it should automatically set to is valid date. If it isn't, just select it off of the dropdown. For the invalid data, you wanna make sure to select the reject option, because you're gonna to wanna to reject any inputs that is not a date. You gotta enforce some standards here. And if you want, you can write a custom message to send over to the user just to explain why you're not taking in whatever the answer. And with that, you'll have a calendar picker in all the blank cells, as well as all the filled cells. If someone adds in a typo, it's gonna to reject to that entry and you're still gonna have the right format and you're still gonna have the calendar picker. If someone adds in a new row, you're still gonna have the calendar picker, still gonna have the same format. You know, it'll reinforce all the standards that you put into this column now. Now, there's still one more thing that can actually ruin your data validation and formats. And that's essentially if someone decides to copy and paste the value into one of your cells. Now, there isn't really a way to prevent this uh, using Google Sheets. However, what you can do is you can write a script that gets triggered off of the on edit trigger. And what that script will do is it'll go to your date column and then reassign the data validation as well as the date format that you put into place before. Now, what this script won't do is remove the value that was copied and pasted. There isn't really a straightforward way to do it because you encounter a bunch of issues that you have to you know, work around, like all the different date formats out there. The values that you get back when you're pulling data from the script, they're all in different formats and you try to convert it into a date and it's not actually a date format. and it throws an error and the entire script fails. So there isn't really a great way. However, Google, if you're watching, what would be really great is if you can give us an is valid mm -hmm. function. That way we can check to see if the cell is passing the validation rules we've set onto it. But until then, we're kind of on our own. If you are able to figure out something that works for you, please leave a comment below. We'd love to see what solution you came up with. If you wanna do some other stuff that's gonna make your spreadsheet super cool, make sure to check out this video over here where we go over how you can create a table of content for your spreadsheet programmatically. But I'm a guy called Joe. This is Bootstrapping Tools. It's been a pleasure and we're out.